Hello and welcome back to the lovely views of the outer world. Where we are at the precipice of a big decision. Do we return the targeting module to the uh, Iconic class who will probably use it to launch some attacks and such? Or do we return it to uh, the uh, to uh, the people of MSI who will fortify their town and probably means that they slowly staff out the Iconic class? I've been thinking on this. And I think I do want to give it to the MSI folk. I know Sanjar is a bit of a corporate tool. But he does want to do some things and not burn everything down. And well... Graham might not want to burn everything down per se. But I think Zora definitely wants to. So I think in the end handling it with MSI is more constructive. And mayhap we can even negotiate a little bit. If we can convince them to return, resume the uh, supplies for the Iconoclast, at least they'll have food. And you know, I'm a smooth, smooth operator. I let my tongue wiggle wiggle in Senja's ear and then maybe he'll uh, be more uh, appropriate. So off Stellar Bay we run. Yeah, up we go. Good old Stellar Bay. Only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur. On account of it stinking like fish instead. Uh, we, we, Are you the only one getting hungry? Ellie, you have odd tastes. Oh, so she probably just likes fish a lot. Which, to be fair, fish is good. I like fish. Especially like uh, herring, the old Dutch, uh, old Dutch uh, specialty of salted herring, and then you eat that raw. It's it's, it's good. Where's that other? Oh, that's Graham. Only then. Oh, that's probably just the exit. Yeah, it wouldn't be that close. It shouldn't be. So, all right, Sanja, we're gonna have some negotiations. If the Iconoclasts reach that okay. ship first, there won't be any chance for a peaceful monarch. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the Iconoclasts. Oh, hey, we. I actually saw that off screen. There were a bunch of Iconoclasts and uh, MSI soldiers fighting. Let's actually try to negotiate. Actually, why do you need the targeting module? Well, because the module controls the weapons systems. Hmm. I mean, why do you need the gunship's weapon systems then? Because once we mount them on Stellar Bay's walls, no Marauder or Raptodon will ever be a threat to us again. Stellar Bay will be as secure as any other settlement in Halcyon. Well, that is a birdie goal. The point is, this weapon system would be a powerful advantage, and we can't risk the Iconoclast getting it. Still, um, I don't think the UDL would just let you keep those gun shit, those gun turrets. The board's own salvage and recovery clause 32B would say differently. Yeah. And they won't dare challenge us over this. Not after the data you found on their experiments here. Hmm. And what would be so bad about the Iconoclist getting the gunship? Can you imagine what those maniacs would do with weapons like that? They'd wreak havoc. Or they go and get themselves killed. Then they're not your problem anymore. Okay. The board would consider us complicit in any of their folly. That would only get us ousted again. And roll back all the progress we've made at reconciling with the rest of Halcyon. Hmm. Well, that is a good point. Even if they merely sat on the scraps, the threat of a bunch of anarchists holding a gunship would bring the full wrath of the board down on Monarch. We can't afford that. I'm skeptical they'd care enough to wipe us out, but if they did, we wouldn't stand a chance. Ah, oh, you see our quandary then. All right, enough about the gunship. Good, because we haven't a moment to lose. So, um, 
So according to the ship's dog, this suffered some kind of malfunction. That's surprising. The board's equipment is usually in top shape. After all, they have first access to any fresh parts or components. Yeah, but that costs money. Maybe it's uh, slim pickings from two and they're uh, cutting costs. You think or they're so? just greedy. I always thought scarcities on Monarch were due to our pariah status. Hmm. Could you maybe agree to a truce with the iconoclasts? They're all mad! And what's more, they left us! I don't see any way for us to work any way for us to work together. Oh come on now, and not anyway. I've read your refuse, Sanja, you can do this alone. Oh, not this again. Yes, that's Remember what we practiced, sir. That's back to this yes. job performance reviews. The words Long in those reviews ago. were very hurtful, but they do not define me. I am a mantipillar, and my will is my cocoon. I can emerge and become whatever I wish. The people who wrote those reviews, they are the same people you deal with on the board. So you need to get ready for this. I hadn't thought of it that way. Perhaps you have a point. Supposing you're right, who exactly would you have me work with? The Iconoclasts are not the most compromising sorts. How did things get so bad between you and the Iconoclasts? Oh, how do these things ever start? Once upon a time, Graham and I saw the same problems with MSI. A rigid corporate structure with no regard for its people. But, where I wanted to reform MSI, he only wanted to take it apart. As if starving in the wilderness is somehow better than starving under corporate mismanagement. He won't hear reason now, and I wouldn't trust him again. What about Graham's second-in-command Zora? That's an interesting suggestion. I confess I don't know much about her except that she worked for Rizzo. There ain't a body on this planet that can keep a group patched up like she has. I don't know how she does it. I'd be willing to consider it. Oh, but really? I need to see her review first. Are you serious? You want a corporate review? One can't be haphazard about these things. Besides, if you think her skills will complement mine, then we should see what those skills are. All right, fine. I'll have a chat Excellent. about this. Her review would be in the Rizzo offices in Cascadia. Bring it to me, and I'll see if she's qualified. All right, this is a curious thing. All right, I'll let you know when we make progress. All right, I did not expect this. So we now have to get a corporate review from the Cascadia place. All right, a little bit of an outing to plan still once again. I we'll probably have to also speak with... Uh, Zora to see how she feels about this. Let's actually on the way just uh, have a chat with Zora on the way to Amber Heights. And then we'll go to Cascadia. Ancient Khan in the Island of Murder. That's pretty cool. Ah, crazy town. Never change. The folks in Amber Heights always manage to find a bottle or two of the good stuff. Keen scavengers, I tell you. Mm -hmm. Right, so let's see if we can have a word with Zora. Actually, let's also have a word with Graham. See how he feels about these things. Graham, I want your side of these things. The gunship. Have you secured its targeting module? We oui, may be. What do you plan to do with it? Mount its guns to our walls or the walls of Stellar Bay. The board is coming, Captain, and these weapons will defend us from their blasphemies. I also spo uh, suppose you uh, won't have to worry about reptidons anymore. Yes. My, how we've grown. From one disgruntled employee and his like-minded compatriots to the very movement you see before you. Mm-hmm. Before we get to that, I'd like to know something. All right. Okay, so we can't negotiate with the gunship. With Graham right Have now. Have you secured its targeting module? Uh, not yet. So, 
don't think there might be a truce with Graham. Let's speak with Zora then. See how reasonable she is. I mean, she seems the fiercest of the two. Well, it's open to negotiation, but we can have a chat. Something on your mind, Captain? So Sanja is willing to talk a bit of a peace truce with you. Too bad. Had I a reliable third party I could trust to set up a meet, maybe I'd consider it. With all the help you've done here, at first I thought it could have been you. But... But I can't trust you to think logically. Your priorities are skewed a bit too much like Graham's. Uh... For all I know, Sanjar's playing you to get to us and you can't see it. So no. In another life, maybe that could have worked out for all of us. In this one, we're going to war. Interesting. So we should have been more friendly with Zora. And given uh, not given into these things, uh, maybe getting the food uh, instead of the uh, printing presses. Right? The gunship. Have you secured its targeting module? So let's give this let's say yes. At last. Now we must secure the Stellar Bay landing pad. No. We will fortify the city against the board's assault. Uh, I'm all for fighting the board and all, but... Oh, shit. Just don't shoot too many of my drinking buddies in there, all right? And you, Captain. Are you prepared? I am not interested in this war. Look, I don't suppose you could work with Sanja rather than against him, right? No. Our hearts have long since closed to one another. He is blinded by his love for bureaucracy. I'm not ready to end it over. Time is yet. of the essence, Captain. Be swift with your decision. So, well, sadly no truce here. Hmm, very regretful. I did not expect this would be the outcome. I really thought Graham and uh, Sanja could work their stuff out, but no. Well, no scenes to go to Cascadia then. I guess we'll just head on off to Sanjar. And hand over that thing. Uh, map, regional. In we go. I am really sad we could not solve this diplomatically, but oh well. I guess we did a good thing about uh, back in uh, what was the place? Uh, yeah, Edgewater. All right, where is Sanja? 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 And you know, Sanja at least was willing to do some kind of uh, work around. So it makes him slightly better than Graham, in my opinion. Any luck bringing the Iconoclast to the bargaining table? I don't like the idea that they'll be trying for that module while we delay. I have the territory module for you, it's all yours. Excellent! At last, we have what we need! I wouldn't get excited just yet, sir. It looks like the Iconoclasts followed you. I have word they're gathering in the ruins outside of town. Alright, so we get a shootout. Well, if it's a fight you want, we'll get him one. Ooh, I just got goosebumps. You really know how to sell that, don't you? Uh, Maybe you could, yes, uh, it was not exactly how you do that. Sir, I doubt this is the time. Right. I'll lock the south gate to keep them out. You'll have to approach from the north. Okay. Good luck. So this is a good old shootout, eh? So, is this the south gate? Or is this the north gate? Yeah, that's the south gate, okay. We have our uh, blue uh, armored buddies with us. Cute. Oh, hello there. We already have a fight underway. Fun. Alright, let's see. Uh, 
Not just headshots. A person? Alright, time to stop with the subtlety. You know what? We haven't fired the plasma cannon in a while. There we go. Disintegration! Oh, now we're encumbered. I don't enjoy that. Why do we have to be encumbered by this little bit of loot? I just got to open up this. Shoot a little bit higher! Oh, you're Make actually a friendly. Stay down. Dun -dun -dun. Epic battle music. Ha ha! Disintegration! <laughs> well, maybe we can have, have handled this somewhat diplomatically after uh, we put uh, the enemy to an ultimatum. I'll just do the slow approach. We really have to unload sometime uh, soon, I guess. Yeah. Sounds of battle up ahead! Give me all your staff debt, people! I seem someone else has got a plasma air launcher in their pack pocket. These MSI guys are really like there. What if I fired really high? Foolish people, you will not stop me! Oh, that was a bit too far. My vision is all blurry. Oh well, must be the fog of war. This is kind of like a war zone with all the music. It's quite dire. Dun 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 dun. I am like the Terminator. You are. Uh, your contract will be terminated. Oh, hello there, kind of class revolutionaries. I think you're good, sir, uh, because you are so nicely put up there. But you're good, blow your brains out type of person. Ah, tricky. Alright. Subtlety is over. See how you like this. Die, robot scum. But this kind of proves that how evil the iconoclists are. They are working with the metallical enemy. Yeah, you get him, my fellow. Yeah, 
Hello there, church girls. You know, I found my hat in here. Now. You dodgy little fuck. Oh, that's Graham. That's Zora. Sorry, Zora. Tried to talk with you. Same with you, Graham. That was fun. A hundred bits says these guys get squashed by the board within a month. If this means they'll start rebuilding this place proper, I'm for it. Alright, so party is kind of okay with this. Felix probably wouldn't be happy, but they will. We'll see if it can go without Felix. So let us report in our victory and then probably leave this planet. Fast on this, but they will. Maybe go faster if I put this big gun away. Oh, look, that mountain kind of looks like a turtle. Yeah, it's a cute little turtle with a the mouth there, see? Cute. The dun. accomplished so I wonder if you could do the same from the iconic side but put Sally Robbins in charge maybe you're back <laughs> and in one piece <laughs> does this mean you I I mean, we won? We did indeed, sir. I can't believe it! Not that I'm really surprised, but... Well, maybe a little. You did it! I mean, we did it! Hurrah, hurrah! When will we have the uh, drugged out uh, absent party? So what now? Between our reinstatement on the board and the gain of this ship, we'll usher in a new age of prosperity for the people of Monarch. That's a hefty promise. You've got Monarch's hopes up, Sanjar. Don't go messing this up like our last overlords did. And perhaps in time, I can use my position on the board to turn things around for the rest of Halcyon. Yeah, I think the board is going to be dismantled, so don't get too comfy in your seat there. Yeah, shit and shit, it sounds like the same, get it? Sure then, let me know how that goes. I shall. Perhaps I'll write you a brief. Anyhow, thank you, and good luck to you. All right, bye-bye. I am pretty much done with this nonsense. Okay, so where is the ship? Over there, let's get out of here. Oh, we're not even parked, I have to call Ada. Um, yeah, it's not the way. We've gone the wrong way. So I think it's over here. Yeah, it should be. Ooh, size. Cool. Oh, what shit! What do you think you're doing? Eh, uh, nothing. Nothing at all. I don't have time for this. Move along. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Right, up we go. Get 
Ada, come down here. I want to get out of here. I'm starting to smell way too much of fish. And I am already fishy enough. Let's go. So Some crew on. members are causing a disturbance on the ship. I'm pretty sure that's just them being them. So hurrah, we're pair. You're adjusting before you call. Oh. You're anticipating it. You... Of course I'm anticipating it. What if I shoot a friend on accident? Ooh, shooting training. That's on account of your stance. You want to lean into it. Embrace it. Work with it. You're in control here, Parvati. Not the gun. Don't let a hunk of metal jerk you around. You've been around powerful machinery all your life. And you're always in control, right? I guess that's kind of like when the filler's shooting 600 cans of near molten sal tuna down the conveyor while I'm trying to tune a belt. Oh, that sounds Here. like I could turn Stand that like into me. a weapon. Just so. Hip square. Lean forward a little. It's just equipment, and you're just an engineer using it. Ah! Okay. We'll try again later. You'll get it. I promise. Very good work there, Nyoka. And with that, I think we'll call this uh, end of an episode. An actual turn to the wider Captain, galaxy. I hope you made the right decision by siding with MSI. Yes, me too, me too. I had thoughts of uh, solving that peacefully, but unfortunately, it was all gunny gunny. So, good day. I hope uh, that's uh, filled the killing quota for the bloodthirsty people out there. Bye bye.